The Constitution is an effort, a real effort, to institute the values expressed in the Declaration of Independence. This was the mechanism for ordered liberty. So if you go to the National Archives, at the center of the Grand Room is not the Declaration of Independence, but the Constitution. I think it's harder to explain the Constitution than it is to explain the Revolution. It's such a radical change and totally unanticipated. No one in 1776 imagined such a strong national government. The Constitution as it emerged from the Federal Convention was nothing but a proposal. What gives it legitimacy is the way it was ratified by the American people. The Federalist Anti-Federalist debate is probably the most intellectual debate we have ever had in this country. The state ratifying debates breathed life into that proposal. This was the first time in world history anything like that happened. It was a monumental event. This year is the hinge of human history. Before this year, democracy exists in very few places on the globe. In today's world, democracy is over half the planet and it's on the march. This is nothing less than an American big bang. And to go in and to be able to see those documents and to get half a foot away from them, and to see the signatures, George Washington, James Madison, Ben Franklin, all on one paper. I mean, it's these documents that give us our political freedom, that give us our rights as Americans. We owe everything, all the, the liberties and freedoms that we have to these documents and the men who wrote them. In October of 1787,